Um, I also picked up these really shiny, um, new, they're, they're new post, you know, I would say post earrings, but really nicely blingy, kind of a grayish, greenish, um, rhinestones in there. Very sparkly, um, lovely rhinestones. Can wear with anything, it's like, you know, a snowflake obsidian, this shiny, you know, more bluish necklace. I just thought they were a lot of fun. Um, instead of just looking for vintage jewelry, I'm now uh, looking for jewelry that will be fun or, or uh, fun for me to wear. I guess that that's uh, what I'm trying to say. This is another pair of uh, blingy earrings, but good summer earrings. That little bit of gold and turquoise with all the little rhinestones on the edges. Um, I wear uh, I, have, I wear a lot of turquoise in this this summer. Excuse me, have hiccups, and uh, so I thought these would be fun to wear again post back. They're not marked, but they're actually well made. I really like um, the way they are open and structured in the back. They could have been um, less nicely made. You know, it could have been just hollow back there. So I think these are our little uh, better quality. Um, pair of earrings and it's unfortunate that they're not marked this is a, a pin that I picked up um, it's uh, in the shape of an anukshuk and I I'm, expect that it's jade um, in Canada uh, our first nations peoples in the north um, built anukshuks out of stone they were um, mocked markers or monuments in the shape of a person but very large scale um, and so this is a representation of an anukshuk and they're not 100 percent sure of the, the purpose of anukshuks they may have been markers um, to help guide people um, as they were traveling they also could have been um, to help with herding caribou when they were hunting them the the distant figure would make the caribou herd turn and perhaps go back toward the hunters. So um, a lovely little pin to find, a very, again, very Canadian and orient, orientation. Um, that's not the right word. Canadian in background, I guess, what I'm trying to say. Um, this is a Christmas pin and uh, I, I don't uh, go Christmas shopping early in the year, but I tend to pick up Christmas pins if they are nice um, and they and they appeal to me so this one is very well made lovely rhinestones both at, in the eye and here on the uh, the edge rhinestones on the edges of the wings and the tail um, just textured metal around the body um, lovely sort of um, uh, swirly creamy enameling and uh, red enameling so a lovely pin to put uh, on my Christmas vest when the time comes. Um, I had mentioned that uh, I hadn't been uh, purchasing very many necklaces, and so I, I've been on the, the lookout, shall we say, um, for some necklaces. And this is one um, that I found. Now this necklace is three strands of light plastic beads, and you can see the lovely shapes that they are. I, I don't know how to, you would describe those shapes, pinched in some way. And they're almost crystal, crystalline in the center of these uh, lightest blue ones, sort of uh, um, uh, creamy or pearlescent in the, uh, the medium blues. Um, lots of fun. Nice gold tone uh, scalloped uh, link there. And uh, on the clasp, there's a little bit of wear. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it says here, Germany. Now, I don't know what age this is. I don't think this is uh, late 90s uh, when Germany became reunited. Um, it doesn't say W Germany or West Germany for when Germany was divided. Um, so it could possibly be pre um, or World War 
World War II or post-World War II before they started marking things with the West Germany mark. Um, certainly, I know they still use Germany for a while, um, even after the division. So this uh, will warrant some investigation to try to figure out the age. It kind of looks 50s to me, but maybe it is more modish 60s as well. Uh, I really, I really don't know. But I think it's tremendous fun. Just... Oh, I think it's just a, a, an adorable necklace, like, and it would be so much fun to wear and talk and, and have people talk about, well, where would you get that necklace when you wear it? Anyway, so you see. Um, I don't mind being the center of attention. Now, to go with that necklace, I found these lovely little light blue earrings, now, uh, just some simple plastic lightweight um, post earrings, but... Uh, fortunate color um, and not you know not they're not going to detract at all and I also found these these are uh, I managed to, to, to loosen the glue on one these are an, a much larger button earring uh, a clip back sort of a coppery color um, and I thought those also would be nice to wear I'll just have to re-glue or glue what, what the right word I suppose would be glue I just have to glue the back on to the one that's come off so so much for the matchy matchy stuff um, now this necklace is uh, also vintage but it has some, uh, something odd about it and uh, you'll see in a minute when I talk about it but these are glass beads beautiful glass beads um, almost a crackle look in the inside of the clear ones and these are almost like a cat's eye bead these oval ones um, with that with the line through them and then these large um, pinched beads have both clear yellow and a, 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 a pearlescent yellow within the beads. So lovely, lovely um, glass beads. Um, and then there's a, oh, well that's interesting. This is a three strand clasp, but there's only two strands of beads here. I didn't notice that before. Well. Gives it a good amount of space for the two strands, but I guess at one time there could have been three strands. Um, the this uh, connector at the end here is a different color. Well, same as this one. They're different color from the lobster claw on the chain that are on here, and so I suspect that this is a new chain and lobster claw. That this would have had a, a hook connector and a chain. Um, and so it, somehow this was uh, uh, re um, or fixed or repaired in this way. I don't know now that I see that this was a three strand. I don't know if we're missing a strand of beads. Um, uh, certainly that's sufficient for me the way it is. Um, but uh, I guess I never will really know if one stand of, strand of beads has been removed. I'll certainly go and look among my jewelry and see if there's a clasp, a more vintage clasp that can, I can put back on here and uh, make this sort of truer to the age of the beads. Finally, um, I'm going to end on this light colored pin. I'm sorry that uh, it doesn't uh, show up any better against my background. This is a beautiful mother of pearl pin. Maybe put it a little bit closer here so you can see. Um, nice size, incredible texture on it. If you, if I am, if you can see that as I turn it up, the, the amount of height in these carvings, um, beautiful and marked on the back here, um, Bethlehem. Sorry, upside down, Bethlehem. Uh, quite a while ago, Clad Queen uh, got a beautifully carved Mother of Pearl cross in one of her jewelry bags, and I fell in love with that cross. Um, when I saw this uh, Mother of Pearl, I fell in love with it too, and was uh, overjoyed to see that it was also marked Bethlehem. Um, so a nice place to end today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing all my jewelry thrifting. Um, and you've gotten to know a little bit more about my likes and dislikes, and uh, I hope you've learned a little bit about jewelry. 
I certainly uh, learn something each time I buy a piece and do some research. Thanks very much. This is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I hope you have a great day.